this is a demonstration that I like to do in class, but we're not in class, so we'll have to do it here. Uh, normally this takes a student, but we'll see what we can do. So I've got three different force meters. So basically what these do, you hook something on one side, and then when you pull on the other, this tells you how hard you're pulling on it. So in this case, I've got something hooked to a wall on this side, and then something pulling over here. So the question is, in this case it says 10 newtons, I'll just see wherever it ends up with the spring. You pull with the spring in one side until, and you read what's here. Now this tells you the force of the, str the spring pulling on the string here. This tells you the force that the string is pulling here on the wall. And then this one, this is kind of like a cut in the middle of the string. It tells you how much tension is in the string in the center. So we want to compare the side that you're pulling compared to the center of the spring, string compared to the other end of the string. How do the forces in those three places compare? Okay, so this is now the third attempt. So this one's hooked to the chair. This one is in the middle of the string. This one, I'm going to connect a spring here and then stretch the spring over, hook it onto the chair. Carefully. All right, it is in place. So now this one is registering, it's actually just over 20 Newtons. So 21, maybe 22 Newtons. So this is the one connected directly to the spring. How much should be in the next one? So this is tension now in the middle of the spring. Again, it's just over 20 Newtons. So it's somewhere, it's, like a, it's a little less than 21. And the third one, if I come over here, is also just over 21, just over 20. So all three of them are reading basically the same thing. 